and we are going to be live I hope so dude, dude. Bum, 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 bum. hello everyone welcome 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 home. we are obviously on the sky climbers today which I'm pretty excited about we'll give it a shot the alpha's just gone live we're allowed to show it off and play it and take a look so that's good stuff I am going to record and just do a bit of social media business right new. How is everyone? Nice and bright and early. I forgot it's like daylight savings time. I didn't think this was starting until three o'clock. But yeah, we change our clocks this weekend. So for a few weeks, it's literally like an only four hours difference between us and East Coast America. But it's gone live, the Alpha. If you don't know what this is, I've just done a video explaining what the Alpha will have inside it, what Sky Climbers is. I've covered a few videos over it now. So yeah, it's a big mix between sort of Pokemon, city building, survival, RPG, base building. Uh, yeah, just all that good stuff. So we're going to give it a shot today. Come say hello. Say hello to my little friends. And then just one more little bit of um, sharing. Hello, hello, Darth. Vanny, hi. What's going on, people? What's going on? Just share with my Discord. There we go. I know people think like it's baity when you use words like the next art survival evolved or the next Pokemon, but it, like you know some games have got such strong elements. I'm sure they'll stand on their own two feet once they're actually launched. But it is a case of like ease of convenience. Sometimes you just got to call a spade what what it is, and this is what this game is. It's like Pokemon mixed up with survival, mixed up with city building, um, all sorts. Um, so there's no controller. I don't know why I'm using that. I've got to use keyboard for this. It's meant to be coming out this year. Oh, hello. Ooh. Boom. And there we go. That was the that was the start of it. <coughs> Draconia. Okay, we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in. Can we use controller? Oh no, we might be able to. Probably not, to be honest. Now I am expecting massive bugs and stuff. It is the alpha, so we've got to be you know, gotta make sure we're being fair. Okay. So you've got combat and tools. Uh, okay, there's, there's, yeah. Whoa. Oh, you can only use it when you're at close sight. Maybe. No, is it small trees I can chop? No. Come on. I'm pressing the keys. Nothing's happening. Does when I use the uh that though. I'm just triple checking, making sure. Okay. Okay, so we've got a, a crawl function. Oh my god, I can't stop crawling. There we go. Okay, so you can run around. This feels pretty smooth. It's got a nice atmosphere. Still don't know. Maybe we've got to hold the button. Mm, no. Okay. Can't chop a tree down. Not yet, anyway. 
Maybe it's another key. Maybe I'm just not doing something. Oh. X, C, D, F. No. Okay, I'm baffled. I'm absolutely baffled. No idea how to chop something down. I'm like pressing all the, the keys. Don't mind. Hello, man. Jermaine, what's going on? Hob, hello, son. But yeah, so we are in a lush forest biome. Um, we should have access to a, a creature of some sort as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's how we tame. That's basically how we get the Pokemon balls in. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit because I think it's probably a little bit bad. It's probably not that bad. Um, and then we've got... What else we've got? So that's the city builder view. Once we get a, to, to be able to build. And that's how we can actually build once we've got the stuff. Okay, cool. And then... Yeah. How do we gather stuff? Oh, there we go. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Maybe it will tell me. Um, maybe it won't. Blueprints. These are the blueprints we've got. So basic build pieces. Nothing like amazing at the moment. Just sort of castle pieces. Load out. Okay, so we'll be able to change armor and stuff eventually, I'm guessing. Man, I like, I'm trying my best here. I can use that. But I can't. It's not. Nothing's happening with the left button. To, to gather resources. Let me see if there's anything in the Discord that says what's going on with it. Yeah, left mouse doesn't seem to be doing anything. Right, you can't cut the trees. Right, okay, so we can't cut the trees in the, the forest. Right, that's a bit odd, but yeah, okay. Okay. To Mario, hello, mate. <coughs> so we've got to go to another biome, basically. Apparently, this is all just for looks. Okay, well, this, I want to get my, um, how do we get my, my, meant, we're meant to have like, um, like a creature. We're meant to have one like pre-installed. I'm just gonna press every goddamn key. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So when it's equipped, so we'll have that one. There we go. So I've got hey, I've got a little shoulder pet. Okay, that's cool. Right, and then Oh, hello. F to mount. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, why is that to my way? Why? Why? Oh, got more creatures. Got a bison. So I'm going to be able to tame that in a, in a while. Mag Magmaton. That's what it's called. It's called a Magmaton. Oh, right. He's getting grumpy there. Right. Uh, I don't know if there's a pitch. There's no map, like... It's meant to be like a ring format. We basically gotta to head towards the ocean. Let's let's head. Yeah, let's go this way. Follow the the lamps and stuff. So apparently the pathways, if you see a lamp, that will take you to a settlement of some kind. You're back. Hey, Overlord, what's going on, mate? Go on, no, go on, up you get, up you get, up you get. Okay, so we'll follow this path. Music's cool, it's nice and chill. Oh, okay, well, we've got a bit of loot here. How do we get out? Let's go and check it out. Um, no? I feel like this is meant to be a bad 
encampment. This is meant to be a bad guy encampment because they're, they're meant to spawn here, I'm pretty sure. But, okay, go this way. The bison from Avatar, yeah. This, I mean, I, I'm not a big, I, I'm not a big Last Airbender fan or whatever. I'm not some nerd. Uh, but the, uh, that's the vibe I get, and I think they've leaned into that a little bit because they've got obviously lots of elements and stuff. I mean, they're all uh, like, how far do you go? I guess we always just reference the most popular thing. So if you see Taming, to me, instantly, I just think of Ark. I don't think of Pokemon. I do think of Ark when I see this. But then I've seen the evolution of the creatures, and then I go, right, okay, that is Pokemon. I guess we do that. Like, you see something, and it's just like, right, well, that's clearly... Oh, my God, it's huge. Um, it's very it's very strange for a game company to show off the alpha like this well, maybe they've had some closed tests and they haven't really just mentioned it or anything but um, yeah it's not often you come across uh, a developer that's going to just allow really early content I guess it means they've got back in, so they're not worried. So they know that maybe things will look a bit dodgy, or maybe it's not going to have the full stuff in it, but people will be able to see past that because it's already got a massive backing. Like this game is is ooh, is dying <laughs> with FPS at the moment. Um, it has got you know it got backed by six thousand people, made three hundred thousand dollars. It's got a publisher, I think, or investment behind it. So I guess they can do this and hopefully show it off. The the premise, the idea. I, I'm. They're meant to be released in November. I can guarantee, come November time, they'll do a statement saying we've listened to city feedback and we're going to delay Sky Climbers till next year. So yeah, I think we might need to go to a biome that we can actually harvest certain trees and stuff. I mean, like, I did an alpha review today of like showing all the stuff that we'd have in it. Kind of feel like I should have maybe mentioned that. But yeah, what's this? This looks like a plant we can harvest. Surely I can harvest a plant. Nope. Oh, <laughs> oh nope. Oh no. Quick. I, I do wonder if it's maybe just a bit too early to be shutting off your alpha low like this. But I guess there's, they, they can't really stop it. Because uh, if people have backed it and you was going to get an alpha key, people would leak it anyway. So I guess the idea is if they can give it to some creators who understand, who aren't going to crap on it, just because it's got a few bugs. But yeah, normally alphas don't see the light of day like this. Dot Salad, mate. Oh. It's pretty. It's got a nice vibe. I like the character models look great. I've seen a lot of the monsters today. I had a little peek. Um... They all looked, they all look great. Like some of the creatures and the way they they evolve to some pretty badass, you know, variations and stuff. And there's different color variations in the game as well. Oh, come on. I'm, I guess we've got to head up over one of these mountains because yeah, I've been trying to find a way through. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. We've got a town or something. Well, maybe you meant to collect these. Don't be bugged. Don't be bugged. No, it's still bugged. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a house. Let's go and check out this house. There's a castle in the background there as well. There we go. Fixed it. But yeah, hopefully it gets them enough feedback what they need to correct and fix things. So these are like procedurally generated little buildings and towns and stuff. I figured they was meant to have like NPCs running around, but maybe it's just a one-off. Just to show people what, what to expect. But yeah, alright, we're not going in. So that was pretty useless there. <coughs> Are you, are you going to climb up? No. There you go. Mate. The light shine. I've got a fire in my feet. Oh no. 
Apparently, yeah. Oh, we can jump. We can jump. We can jump. We can jump. I think I tried that earlier. Huh. Huh. Okay. Oh, we go. So this has got to be a proper settlement, right? Right. So that was just a little village from yeah. So this is what you can do. You can build your own castle and have your own villages all around it and stuff. Yeah, I didn't really say that they wouldn't have the harvesting not available though. Which, yeah, I was going to say, like, it kind of sucks. That's like got to be a major component, but yeah. I guess just to freely run around, see some of the creatures maybe. Oh, okay. But yes, it's all right. I, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and say it's the best thing ever. I know it's an alpha. I know it's an alpha, but man, if, you, if you're showing stuff off, that's why you don't let people show off alphas, because you can't sit here and say, oh, it looks amazing. I mean, it's cool. It's a cool idea. I can see what they're going for. I'm definitely intrigued about like where they could take it, and if we can do all this ourselves, we'll be able to play stuff. That would be cool. Oh. Oh. No. So imagine this field with like creatures and NPCs. Like some of the clips I showed today, they look good. Okay, we'll run around the inside of the castle. Oh, hang on, There's some bad guys. Okay, we'll have a bit of taste of combat. Oh, he's coming for me. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Knocked him on his ass. Is he dead, though? So he gets up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. Void enemies. I do think there's other stuff you can get. Like, you can get different weapons, and there will be different classes and stuff. But you just start off with the, the ones in this one. I'm seeing some clips and um, pictures of like big massive swords and stuff. Oh, something's gone wrong there with the planning. Uh, what is the... Uh, there was meant to be two specials. Oh, okay, yeah. So these are the void. The story of the game is there's like two planets. One planet filled with chaos and wanting to destroy the worlds. And then the other planet's filled with good people. I've got off my mount. I'm going to lose where he is in a minute. Oh, hang on. What's this guy? I've got that werewolf. I wonder if I could tame him. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yep. Okamito, okay. Oh! Oh, my health is going down. Gotta be careful here. I'll get a bit more distance. I'll be able to dodge out of the way a little bit more. So if we get him low enough health, I might be able to stun him. And then we'd actually have this guy as our tank. Okay. Right, it's got to be ready. Right, let's uh.
Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh sugar! Hello sugar! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Eek. Eek. Yeah, it's got some of that. It's got that that, that anime vibey stuff going on. I was just about to tame a werewolf. Then. <clears throat> Let's see where we're at. Come on. Exit game, yes. Oh, do you know what's going to happen? So you, you can save at temples and stuff. It doesn't save the game automatically, I don't think. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Like I said, I want to be reasonable. It's an alpha. It's not going to run smoothly. It's going to be just ideas and stuff. And But, it, I mean, alphas, you've got core gameplay. So core gameplay is taming, running around an open world. Possibly gathering resources when we work it out or get somewhere where we can. That kind of stuff. Oh, Anna Briella, I have been awful. Like, it's the worst. If it wasn't COVID, I would say it was COVID, but apparently it's not. I had to go and have a lay down today. I thought I was all right, but I had a migraine again. Just, yeah, just can't shake it. Mrs. is awful as well. Just awful. Pair of us. But yeah. I'm back alive. All right, so yeah, we no, we haven't saved anything. Rip. <coughs> yeah, like I said, I mean, I I just an alpha games can come a long way. They can come a long way in a short space of time, and for sure, they, I think they've got a big crew. I don't think like this is like this isn't four people. I'm pretty sure they've got like a whole team of um, developers and, and working on it and stuff. Um, but I do think November, based on just the alpha, if I was being realistic, it's too soon. It'd be way too soon. They'd have to, they'd, they'd, there's so many assets to improve and they want to have lots of continents. I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe that stuff's there. Maybe they've just got to work on the, 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 the stuff that's there. To keep it stable and stuff. And once they've got that down, it's just a case of just polishing it up and then they can add to all the other stuff. But they've got like 300 creatures, like in their uh, beast tree that they're going to be adding. I mean, it's crazy. It's got it's got potential. But yeah, I think this year would probably be a bit too early. Yeah, no, cheers, Elbia. Thank you, darling. How you doing? What's going on? Day off today? What you what are you gonna do? Yeah. What an alpha should give you like no uh, to be fair, no. An alpha isn't meant to be just a vertical slice. As far as I'm aware. An alpha is meant to be, yeah, the working mechanics, the core mechanics in the game. That's what you should expect from an alpha. Beta is like finished, more or less, actually, believe it or not. Like it, it should be a case of polishing stuff up and getting things ready. But then we're in this realm now where a lot of games do alphas and betas, then they hit early access. And even early access shouldn't be too rough. No, like early access should be, you know, you've got at least sort of 60, 70 percent of your game there. And it's about adding the, the other the other percentage. So judging by their plans and what they want to add, then clearly this is only, yeah, about, I would say about 30, 40% there. Oh, good, good luck, girl. You'll do it. Yeah, yeah. But the core gameplay mechanics are running around. That's the only thing I would say, like, so it's a perceived generated world. And, it's, you know, you've got to have, as we've discovered even from Valheim, an amazing pretty game it looks fantastic Valheim there's danger and elements all over in different biomes but people already get sick of seeing the same biomes some people anyway um, 
and so you've got to, your world's got to be filled with stuff it's got to have stuff going on or it's got to have enough sort of environmental decorations and and stuff you can harvest and gather different crops different seeds different foods to farm or just loads of different enemies and stuff or lots of points of interest and stuff so if you've got a procedure generated world and it might be massive and big and whatever but if it's just kind of the same shit for like half an hour then yeah it doesn't really matter what else you've got going on people will kind of get bored of it I mean, I love that. I, I look at that and go, oh, the shaft of light's coming through the mist. And, you know, I still want to go and play it. That's because I didn't really get as much time in that as I wanted. But, yeah. It's like the, the best worlds to me are games like Ark Survival Evolved. Because danger happens. That's the other thing as well. So maybe you don't have the most interesting world sometimes. Maybe it is a bit flat or there's just not a lot going on. But if you've got danger if your world feels alive i mean arc has got a lot going on that's what i won't shit on arc for for that arc has got one of the best to me anyway worlds like i feel like i'm in a jungle with dinosaurs i feel like there's danger around the corner every second and this game isn't strictly like that it's meant to be more of a city builder and um you know that simulation aspect as well trying to combine it almost like a farming game but on a bigger scale that's the kind of vibe i get from it you're not necessarily farming crops just you and your little hoe but you are farming creatures you're collecting them and you're building castles and you're, you're setting your npcs to open up shops for you so you can get bread or, or weapons and you know mills and stuff i'm gonna go back down oh oh well you don't take any full damage thank god And you found Conan. Well, you know what? You should do it one day, just for a bubble. Stream it and see see what the reaction is. When when 3.0 comes out. There you go. As soon as that pops out, you crack on it. Oh. Oof. Conan's got quite nice biomes. The filter ruins it for me, though. I hate the filter they have on top. The murky dark filter. This is light. I like. I like. I like the art style in this. I do. It's not too anime where it's like stupidly long-legged girls or boys with like anorexic necks. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not that kind of anime. It's just. It's got a nice little art style to it. I think the creatures look good. Good. I like the sort of the watercolor looks to them and stuff. Oh, hang on. We've got maybe some more baddies. I don't know when 3.0 is meant to be going live, I presume, in the future. Oh. oh. Okay, so I think clearly the enemies aren't spawning. I'm pretty sure this is meant to have some of the enemies running around and stuff. Should we try and get off this time and see if we can pick some of this stuff up? No, it's still... Right, I think that's meant to be the Pokeball. No. Okay, still can't harvest. But yeah, I can see why. I, I Like I said, I, I personally don't think I would ever show a game in this, this state this early. But I can see if you're a Kickstarter and you've promised keys to people, people probably will show it off. So best thing you can do is try and get it to creators that will appreciate it who is an alpha and hopefully they can um, encourage that you know give them a little bit of love like yeah we'll see how it goes there's a few games like sort of MMO based big games like we've got Palia no idea what that game's about really like it's got a few pictures we know it's going to have a bit of farming in it and it's got like a Fortnite style of art then um We've got Bitcraft, again that's an MMO where it's strange little creatures that look like they belong from like a um, journey or something and apparently that's going to be a, a non 
combat focused MMO where you go around and you can build settlements and you can build your own town with people though that's the big the big aspect so there's a few of these games trying to be like something a bit mixing between either survival or crafting like really focused on that but not have any PvP and stuff although this game does have PvP it's gonna have PvP servers I think More than anything, pallet, yeah. I don't know. So I'm looking at it, and I just I don't know if it's got um the I haven't seen enough. Like we've seen a few screenshots of some nice art, but yeah, I'm definitely more interested in Bitcraft. The idea of um like social MMOs where you actually got to help each other more and do stuff together more. If that works, because I don't think MMOs. I don't know. We've seen from Lost Ark and New World, they can be good for a small amount of time, and then everyone gets bored of them. People just don't like playing as big group games as much as they used to, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I've got that wrong. But yeah. It's another world. It's not Palio. It's uh, Paleo. And that's a, game, that's a cute little one about getting dinosaurs and creatures. It's, you know, that one looks cool as well. Paleo Pines? That's it. Paleo Pines. I like the look at that one. Maybe so yeah. Someone I just read in Discord that you're meant to be able to get trees and rocks and stuff from the coastal areas. So that's what I'm kind of trying to head towards now is the coastal areas. It's got bushes there. Should we try and harvest some of these bushes? Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm going to go up over this rise and see if it breeds on. So everyone's playing on the same seed as well. So this is the seed they've generated. So it's not there's no online functionality right now either. Yeah. Just a, just a tad. Rhymes with pie. Come on. Get up the mountain. Get up the mountain. I'm more and more like uh, you see it. Well, you've seen it already. The uh, the retreat to an end. I like the idea of that one. A bit of mental health fortitude, man. Yeah, I could do some of that. Just survival crafting game where you literally meditate. I feel like I want to try and get some of these yaks. Should we try it? Just for the the lulls. So, maybe you got to use that. I was taking his energy down. No. This is not doing anything. Got my little dude. Come on, let's get one of these little little cows. Let's see if the, it works. The mechanics of it. He's not doing much to me. One more hit. Right, that's right. And then we. No. Here. So maybe I'll just just throw it. No, that one. Oh yeah, maybe. And then maybe it's maybe I've got to do the other one as well. There we go. We did it. I've got myself a uh, a bison of some kind. So if I scroll down now, yeah, there we go. 
Hey! Can we... I don't think we can ride this guy. No, not yet. No. Okay. And it's just in the thing. And that's it. You put them back like that. Okay. That's all right then. Let's um, let's see if I can get back to my creature. I planned quite a lot of bit of content on this for the rest of this week. I was going to just do some videos on it and stuff. But I don't know how much video content there will be really. Right. Well, we'll have an attempt. It's big biomes. But yeah. Midlands, hello son. Oh yeah, you're playing it without me, you bastards. You bastards. I wanna play. I'm planning to. Not next week. Basically the week after half term. That's when I'm back on the old Valheim grind. And I'm gonna try and stream daily. That's my plan. In prep for the mistlands. And yeah. Um I guess I could just get my horse out again, can't I? I just don't know what way to go. Like, what way am I meant to go? Oh, there's a save point. Should we get to the save point this time and actually save my thing? So these purple creatures, the void creatures, they come out at night time. They're meant to be like night time danger. But yeah, out of all the games, it's still got to be Nightingale. That is just the one for me. That is just the one. And that's the one I'm really looking forward to. Miss Lands, I don't think we're going to get it till... <coughs> possibly, I don't think we'll get it till the end of May. May maybe even June. I don't know, they're sharing a few bits off. I'd love to be surprised, but um No, I don't I don't I don't think so. I don't have any insight. I never ask, you know what, like I'm, I'm feel, I feel like I'm good friends with Robin and I chat to the Val and crew. Or they just tolerate me, DMing them. But I never really ask that stuff. I don't I don't secretly go, yeah, go on, tell me when when it's happening. Cause I don't, I don't like to bug them too much. But yeah, I I, I think Oh, <laughs> What love? That's it. Yeah. Just doing cowgirl position there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go May. July? That even that far? Wow. No, I don't know if it'd be that far. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This, this is where we say. You've got rays on it. Nice, oh, some bitches. I'm go I want to do some modded, so I probably am going to do a bit of modded play as well. So there are some cool mods. We should look into doing another one. But yeah. Yeah, I just don't know. I just feel like... They've done the caves. It's already March, nearly the end of March. So that's like another four weeks to get things in gear. Five weeks. Five weeks. March, April, May. Yeah, five... Six six weeks. If it's the end of May, it'll be seven weeks. If it's the middle, it'll be six. If the start, it'll be five. I think seven weeks to, yeah, wrap stuff up. That gives them a month to show off dev blogs and stuff. I don't know how we meant to save, but supposedly you can save. I kind of want to build. Let me build. Let me go and get some goddamn resources. Okay. But yeah, this is meant to be a save point. You're meant to be able to save your stuff. Okay, I'm going to call my horse once more. Where are you, buddy? Ah, there we go. How are you getting on with uh, Core Keeper, mate? Midlands. Have you have you got past to the bosses? I tell you what, I've been I've, I've 
sunk some hours into that. I swear it's come up to like 80. Okay, we're just gonna, we're going to keep going. I'm going to go in one direction and we'll just hopefully get there and it will take us to the coastal business. Or we'll go the other way and we'll see what the magma. I want to see all the things, all, all the stuff, so I can go. I'll take it off my list and go. I tried my best. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the week then on the main channel. I was going to put Planet Crafter on the second channel. I recorded about two hours of that last night. That was okay. Oh, you could do a little, uh, little thingy. There we get. There we go. Come on. Come on. It's so mount. It's much more mountainous than I thought it'd be. To be honest, as well. Kind of want a path. We'll just keep following pathways until we get to somewhere. Yeah, look, that one. I feel, I, I don't, I, am I going in circles now? Probably. We'll keep going. We'll keep going in that direction. Also, last thing to note: the Swedes all have their like two-week holiday. It's like mandatory. Well, it's not that mandatory, but a lot of them do it. Where they basically shut down for two weeks in the summer. So that's when I think they'll want to have the update and stuff done for it. Oh, it's one of these guys again. <clears throat> Should we try it one more time? Let's get one of these guys. Now I know what to do. Don't bug out. Please don't bug out. <sighs> right, okay. He bugged out. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I should join me, man. I've been on it. I've been well, I haven't been on it that much. I stopped. I didn't play much yesterday. But I am about to do farming the bosses if you want to come join for that. Oh I think like one more hit and I am brown bread. Okay, here we go. No, no, no. It's if you die. Apparently if you die. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. It's apparently if you die. Don't die, people. Just don't die. I'm just having a little peruse of the Discord chat. Some people, I mean, this game's meant to be coming out on Stadia, and it's meant to be coming out on um, other platforms as well in the future.
it's uh, I'm I'm just sitting here thinking like oh I don't I don't want to be I don't want to be mean but it's too early they should they I just don't see I don't I don't understand I would have rather have taken the hit from people leaking it than to have people checking it out because bugs aside crash is all right fine you expect that maybe but it just doesn't look like that you know and 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 they've shown off a lot of dev blogs that have made it seem like it would be like that that's the other thing you can't over promise stuff when you're game developing that's why i'm a bit wary of games sometimes like sky screenshots all good and 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 small little clips but yeah they can certainly generate a bit too much hype before something's ready to really be shown off and then with people get that product even as a backer or an alpha or beta and they don't get to experience some of the stuff you've been showing or you haven't made it clear that that stuff is way down the line you are going to come to problems I didn't save progress either it's, per it's permadeath yeah right if I see another werewolf we just ignore it right this time and we're gonna try and follow the paths. We're gonna we're gonna to get to another biome. God damn it, we are. Hey Nate Wolf, how you doing, mate? I am trying to keep my mouth stum from being too harsh on an alpha. It's, it's, I mean, that's the other thing as well. Like, people go, oh, it's just smoke and mirrors, you know. Cyberpunk. Yeah, we all know. Like, that's the, you, you get too pessimistic as well, especially if you're jaded. Half the people that complain about games, they don't play a billion games, though. They play, like, f 10 a year. They'll, they'll play, like, their three favourites all year round, and they'll try, like, six. But they're definitely the people that are in Twitter or social media or in the comments going, yeah, it's another cash grab. Yeah, it's just another hype. And like they're always so pessimistic. Maybe because they've got brains, I don't know. But I like I, I try and be a bit balanced. Like, yeah, you know, I wanna believe that games are gonna be great and something's gonna be fresh and new and exciting. And it could be the next big thing. Like Core Keeper. Like I didn't have a clue about that game, to be honest. I'm sure they sent me an email months ago asking to take part, and I went, nah, it's not my type of game. But that was before I had my second channel. So, that's the idea. So yeah, I don't know. It's hard. I'm 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 I'm, I'm literally co contradicting myself. But I'm saying, don't be too harsh on alphas, but also don't show off shit if it's not ready. You can't get the game volume. Oh no. Is it not an option? It's I for options oh yeah do you what would you use uh like streamlabs because if you're using streamlabs you can control the game volume but keep up your um like your voice stuff you, you can keep your your mic up high so maybe try that record via streamlabs rather than any other software you got if you're streaming just from your playstation or whatever not playstation yeah you can't be streaming via playstation can you yeah because you you PC only. So yeah, that would be my advice. It's kind of, I would say, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of... I, I get more of an impression of, yeah, like, Pokemon Arc game with this. Like, everything I've seen and just collecting over 300 creatures and you can level them up. What I'd like to see, I guess, from that is like, how are they? They're all going to have special abilities, but I, is is it going to be a case like Ark where it's quite a, they've helped do new things with it to tame creatures in Ark, but most of them still rely on you shooting it, knocking it out, and putting berries in its bum or food in its. You know, do you know what I mean? Like that's what you do. You either knock it out and and put food in the inventory, or you crawl behind it and you put berries in its bum. And so this game is like right. So far, as all I've seen is just shoot a laser, sh reduce it down to low health, then capture it all with, with a Pokeball. Um, so hopefully, like mechanics will come further to make it deeper, 
certain creatures can only be craft like tamed maybe if you've got like a gauntlet of that element or yeah if you've combined and made a new staff a staff has got to have special properties to tame it because that's what this game is based on it's got like nine elements and they've got different continents and dynasties and and npcs that's the idea and the idea is that yeah they all control or they all have like weaknesses and, and buffs against certain things so that's one thing that i think could make the game more interesting long term if they if they're going to go with taming and stuff just a bit more prep like you can't just go up to everything and just shoot laser at it do you know what i mean it's got to have a bit more bit more meat and potatoes yeah take, i mean yeah it's just it's just not the one but um yeah, and the landscape is, it's just, it's an art style. It's very arty. With Valheim, I mean, it's not even really technically a survival game. Because you don't die. Although I keep arguing this with Grim, Robin, one of the devs. Because he's like, it's not. I'm like, well, yeah, but you're surviving against creatures. They attack your base regularly. Survival doesn't always have to be just about food and water. I mean, this, as far as I know, I don't think this game's going to have actual proper full-blown survival mechanics like that in it. I've just been basically cheating and calling it a survival game. But it's early. It's early. They may add more stuff like that. You never know. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, definitely on OBS you can change the game volume. Like if you just recall using that interface OBS or, or Streamlabs or whatever. Just make sure you've got the, uh, your mic louder than your um, game music. And then when you press record, it will record. You. I mean, you can output your voice so it doesn't. Or do what I do. I still use um, Audacity to record my voice. So if I ever do use Streamlabs or whatever, OBS to record, I use Audacity on top of it. Because, yeah, you're right, it does output the same volume sometimes if you use an OBS. So, yeah, use Audacity to record your voice and then just match it up when you're editing it. All right, we've been up to that castle a bunch of times. I kind of want to get away from it. I'm, we're trying to just find a biome that's not this. So it's meant to be rings. So eventually, as long as we go in one direction, we should technically be able to come across something new. Yeah, Rune Factory, you told me to check that out, didn't you, Overlord? And it's all right. We've got um, today, there's meant to be a reveal of Small Lands coming out. Or another little showcase. There's some little indie games um, exhibition going on. And then obviously, we've got the future game show in a couple of days. That's shown off Forever Skies. I'm going to be showing a video on that one as well as soon as it comes live. <coughs> I mean, maybe this is the coastal ruins, like the coastal coastal meadows, they call it. I'm going to stick to this path. We'll just follow this path all the way around. Apparently, the coastal ruins is the only one where you can actually harvest any resources. Also, did you guys see that one that I posted on the second channel? It was... Um, it's like a satisfactory style game. Tectonica. That looked pretty cool as well. It's basically satisfactory but underground. And it's all like bioluminance, colours and just mining and setting up automation and factories and stuff. So yes, that's definitely a different, like, the, the grass is there. That's got to be a different biome that we're heading towards eventually. Zelda vibe across the rail. Hey, Fury, what's going on, mate? Oh, come on. No, yeah. And there is meant to be a volcano biome as well, but man, these are big. I 
I'm hoping as well that the teams really will all be unique. Right? I know it's going to be hard with 300, but, you know. I guess if they're mounts, at least have them have different speeds and stuff like that. Maybe some can jump further if you've got like a different type of mount. A lot of them look like they're going to be shoulder pets and stuff as well. Come on. Come on. That's it. Up we go. Up we go. Oh, no. No, no. Come on. Up, up the mountain. Let me get up. Go on. No, we're not skyrimming it. We're definitely not skyrimming up this mountainside. Right, so we've seen the castles, we know what the castles are about. We are looking to go beyond the castles. Go round. Come on. Hooray! Cheers, Zod. Two years you waited for this one. Yeah, you have you've been looking forward to this game a long time. There's some sort of black mist going on there. I honestly I don't know if I'm doing just big circles. I swear I feel like I am. But I don't know, that's that's definitely something going on there, right? <clears throat> yeah, maybe that's it. Other mounts will be better to use. Or is it just gonna be mist? No, it's just mist. Axe keys. I'm not. No, I was going to, um, but decided to get my channel back on survival only, mostly. So no, I've not bothered to reach now. I think I could have probably got a key early. I got some contacts with gearbox, but I decided to leave it. Looks fun though. Okay, I might not get up this pathway. Yeah, no. We're not going up that way. Alright, I'm going to go through the forest one more time. Yeah, it looks good. It does look good. But no, I'm adamant I'm going to stick to um, my channel being more survival only. The only exceptions to that would be... It turn, I still think Starfield's going to be a survival game because it's just like you've got oxygen and stuff and I know there's a bit of new info come out late, right lately about it but I just thought oh, no, I'm going to leave it because if you do preview vids on some of these games they just don't necessarily get the views because it's just got too much competition so I'm just going to wait till the game is actually close to release before I start doing more news about it but um, I'm convinced that will be a proper survival game needed in oxygen but in the future things like Maybe Fable would would make me maybe switch and play something that wasn't survival. Like it, it'd have to be a game I really, really like the idea of. Have you? What are you gonna get on this tonight, then, Zod? Are you at home later on then? It's I gotta say, dude, it, it it it's definitely got some nice art style. And the creatures look great, but man, it need it does need a lot of work. It does. No, there's no server, man. It's all just single player. We're all starting off. I did do a video. You not watched it yet? You better watch it on your break, son. I, I literally listed everything that's supposed to be in the alpha. But so far, launch day issues or, or whatever. But yeah, they, I think they could have been a bit clearer. Maybe. Because it does seem like there's a lot missing. Or it's just not working currently. Admiral Preach. Is she still going? Like She quit Twitch, didn't she? 
I'm just going around circles, people. Like, how the fuck do you get anywhere? I honestly don't know where I'm going. Okay, that's the castle. So we just keep going away from the castle. And eventually we'll hit something, right? I'm going to try and find another pathway on this side of the forest. Come on. That's it. Okay, got more werewolves. These guys clearly spawn at night time. Yep. It's lacking, man. I'm telling you, I, I, I feel like a little bit they... They probably should have been a bit more clearer. I don't know, maybe they haven't. I've not checked all their, their channels, but I feel like they should have probably said a bit more sooner that it was only going to be a single player test. There's no way that I can see. They're, 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 because you can rest at night. So you can rest at night time, make it daytime. So that's how I know it's not a multiplayer game. She moved to Norway. That's crazy. All right, I'm going to try and get around this mountain. I thought it was a health. She was just like, just tired of it and stuff, or just wasn't doing well enough with it. Can be a ceiling. I've been reading a few articles today how like much easier it is for women to get views on Twitch and to get like you know a good amount of people to watch you. But after that, there there can be like a bit of a uh, just a barrier. You can't really progress to that next stage. Only like the few really lucky ones, like the mega streamers do. I don't know, it might have been chatting shit. Right, I'm gonna. No, so we're back here. I swear, I just don't know what way I'm going, guys. Like, throw me a bone here. How many castles have I seen? We, I'm sure it was that way we I was going around this mountain that's why right, and so don't go backwards so let's go here I just want to see something new I want to see a new biome hopefully that's the castle that we just left right so I'm sure that's the castle that we just came from And this will be the castle that I can see from up here. Yep. Okay. So, so what way do I go? Um, I don't know. I don't really... Well, maybe. I guess the art style is similar to Breath of the Wild. But that's just saying... Isn't that just anime? Everyone's going to hate me now. Oh my god. How can you call Breath of the Wild anime, bro? You don't know. I'm not a dweeb. Sorry, people. I'm not. <laughs> I see cel-shaded shit, and I just assume it's like, yeah, it's Japanese art. There we go. I honestly have no idea where to go. Yeah, you'll get there. You will. Like I said, I don't know. I feel like... Oh, my God. Maybe it'll help. Do oh shit yeah <laughs> eek eek but yeah you've got I think that's when you've got to diversify if you do hit a ceiling like everyone it's the same as YouTube like I'll probably hit a plateau at the moment so you've got to do something a bit different so for streamers I feel like it's probably leaning into YouTube videos more sometimes um, and for YouTubers maybe it's the, yeah same for me maybe I've got a stream more. Nope. We're, we're dead. I'm going to restart. We'll restart. Maybe that'll work. Yeah. I, 
ain't gonna lie, I don't wanna be harsh. I'm fighting it, but I'm a bit disappointed. I know it's an alpha. I know, I know that things will get better, I'm sure. And But, you know, the trailers they showed off, the dev blogs they've been showing off, the art they've been showing off for the last few weeks made me feel like we'd have something a bit more playable. But this is effectively, it's just a shell at the moment. There's, there's, there was not enough. Like I, I'd, even as an alpha, I wouldn't have put this out for my backers to play yet. I, because what kind of feedback are you going to get from this? You know, if, if three thousand of your backers on Kickstarter have bought this game, all they're going to do is tell you it keeps crashing. I can't harvest anything. I can't explore another biome because I can't find any combat's a bit wonky there's no basic options like camera quit you know control options like yeah like there's there's alphas i don't know maybe i'm wrong i want a game developer to tell me sharp jay this is exactly what an alpha is but this is more like a vertical slice that has been put out this is the kind of thing that you will show maybe prospective investors and get the idea, give them the scenery, make them feel like, yeah, this is what you could potentially invest in and we can make it a billion times better. But um, yeah, so far, I just it's, it's just too early. They, they shouldn't have allowed people to show this off. I, I, maybe it will be okay. Maybe loads of people will get behind it and maybe they'll fix a few things and, you know, be able to run around different biomes and find them or without crashing if you die but yeah creators can't sit here like if you see creators streaming this for four or five hours today man they've they've got fucking nothing to live for i tell you because i couldn't do that for any more time by the way i'm done <laughs> i am done guys sorry i want to be positive i do but you can't be positive when something's just not there you've got to have you know if you're going to let streamers and people play your game you've got to have something to show got to give me something to do and i don't mind crashes or bugs or issues but there just wasn't enough there there's a whole bunch of creatures they said it's going to be available didn't look like it to me not in them that one biome or two slight biomes we explored let me know what you guys think come on before we finish what do you guys think about it after seeing it now Gonna have to do one of them. God, honest. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rip into them and do a video like baity one. Like it was a, such a mistake. <clears throat> but yeah, I I don't think I'm not gonna certainly be able to make videos on this. That's my plans out the window. I thought I was gonna do like I don't know three or four videos to cover me while I had some time off with the kids this week. But yeah. This is why I need to get into game development so I can actually help these game makers and not do anything stupid like release an alpha where it's just clearly not ready. Is he? You missed a thing? As long as it's an actual alpha, not just a crummy beta in disguise. Well, Alpha's meant to be the worst one. It looks better than Rust on console, McNugget. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, if they can, if if they can, if they can get it, content in it, it doesn't, you know, bugs and stuff will fall. Or, or I guess just being a bit more guided explain a bit more or, or yeah cool, cool i don't know have the ability to teleport between the biomes straight away so you could experience some of the biomes that might be something they can do I'm trying to think like constructively what are the realms of what they can do or patch it in and, and actually have um, a smaller world a much smaller denser template to run around man it still hurts rust Easiest ways to get RPG make and put games out on itch. Yeah, I mean, I, I I've seen 
some great games on itch.io site and stuff. Um, and this has got like it's got all the stuff in it. It's got the elements, the story. It's got the creatures, the base building, the city management, where you could literally, you know, I love the idea of that. That's 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 what everyone loves in survival games. If a lot of people like that. You know, you build your town, you build your big base, and then you go and build your blacksmith, and you build your your potion shop, or you build your 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 stable for your horses, and you build your armory. Like that's what we've all done in games like Valheim, Ark, or Conan. So it's got base building where you can build your own castle, but then you can also just go ahead and plonk down these little buildings for NPCs to live in. It's it's great. Yeah, they. Uh, I mean, it is a long road. They, I think the alpha is going to run for a good few months, maybe all the way up to release. So they're going to be updating it on a weekly basis. So, yeah, we'll check back. I'm not going to be too despondent. I will keep my eye on it, but I'm probably not going to be doing any more sort of hype pieces unless I can see it in the alpha actually being playable. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's got to have some... I've got to be able to show it now. Like I don't mind hyping games up and, and showing what the devs want or the, the videos they've put out, the, the trailers and the pictures. I'll say it looks amazing. It could be the next big whatever. But once the game's out in some form, I've got to see that kind of content in the actual game if we're allowed to play it and stuff. It's got to have something like that. But yeah. Anyway, sorry guys, a bit disappointing. Um, but you know, that's the nature of alphas and stuff. Um, fair play to the devs pointing it out there. Like I said, I'm sure they've got their reasons, and I think I've explained that adequately why I think they probably do it. Um, and yeah, hopefully it'll improve. Hopefully they'll they'll get some more out of it in the next few weeks and updates and patches to fix it. And yeah, it, even running around the three or four biomes and just seeing what the other creatures can do and see if they've got other abilities. That would be that would go a long way, I think, to helping the people that are back this project feel like it's a really good one. But yeah. <laughs> I am off I'll be back actually I'm going to maybe stream Tunic tonight on my second channel so if you want to see that game it's meant to be a Dark Souls like game but as a cute fox running around a Zelda world like Zelda like the old games uh, it's on Games Pass it's free it's got a big it's not an alpha it's a fully blown game um, so I've got a key for that I'm going to be streaming that later on tonight in fact I've got it here somewhere there it is I like look at this one. I, I really, I've been tweeting and, and showing some support for it. So I'm going to be playing this on my second channel a bit later tonight. Probably about 8 o'clock. Um, we'll do a little stream of that. So go and check out my second channel, Jcraft. And we'll stream some of this about 8 o'clock tonight. And uh, yeah, go and check out the alpha info. I'm sure lots of streams will be playing it. And I'll see you lots later.